open till it shatters through the ocean. I want to make shock waves. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and other from animals, this is Irenia, and welcome to episode 20, the long-awaited episode 20 of Kerbal Space Chronicles. Now, we are going to Minmus because it's the next moon on our list, and that will check off our exploration of the Kerbin system, except for the moonlet of Phoebe, which we will probably visit later. But either way, this is Project Denver, and it's actually a duplicate of the last two spacecraft. Or, like, last three, because I think this is the same spacecraft that also went to the moon. But we have built this out, and we're going to take it all the way to Minmus. And hopefully we're going to land and we're going to be able to finish all three biomes, because of course... Minmus has about the gravity of nothing, so it should be a bit easier to do landing and what the hell? What are we doing? Come on, get back around. What the deuce? I have never had this problem with this spacecraft before. Great. Come on. Well, let's see if we can at least save the lander. <sighs> Alright, let's see here. So, this is what happens when things don't exactly go the way we were expecting. But I'm going to see if we can't soft land this thing. It's going to be hard to do because it's going to take pretty much burning all the way down. <sighs> that moment when you have to improvise a new mission plan. wonder what the hell happened. Did it accelerate too hard? Did I not back off the throttle quickly enough or did I back off too much? I wonder what changed, because, I mean, we never had that problem with any of the previous missions. Basically, we're just hoping we can slow down enough. I mean, look at the rate at which we start falling. We move quick. Just gonna use the rocket as we descend here. I'm going to put this in two times physical time acceleration, because maybe it'll help make it a little bit more bearable on the way down. Is there any science? Well, there actually is science we don't have from this level. So we, we might as well... Go ahead and keep all that data. And transmit all of it. Oh, I'm not sure if this thing is going to have the fuel to soft land. Because we're also descending and that means we're losing a lot of efficiency. But I guess we will find out. The problem is I don't get an impact indicator like we do on other worlds. Ah, uh, this is ridiculous. I didn't even want to have to do something like this. Uh. 
I need to find the level of thrust at which I can just maintain or slowly drop my velocity, but then I lose fuel too quickly. As we're still dropping way too fast. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to save the probe. Yeah, see, we just lose to efficiency too quickly. This is meant to be a space engine. And we're going to slam it to the ground. Well, <laughs> most of it's going to slam into the ground, but enough of the probe just survived that there's actually still science we can do. We, we can actually still get a radiometer scan. What the hell? Uh, well, I guess that's going to take some new design work because something in the hell happened. There's a broken solar panel. Those. Oh my gosh. I can't believe some of this actually survived and the spacecraft is still spinning. Oh, even though it was a failure, that amuses me. But we are going to go back to the Space Center because we might as well show off what we got from the last mission, too. Uh, from Project Dallas, I believe. But this is the end of Project Denver. A bunch of parts found lying on the ground. Where's the Space Center? Not very far from the Space Center. I mean, we're, what, two or three kilometers? Maybe? Maybe five? I don't know. I mean, we're close enough we can still obviously see the Vehicle Assembly Building. Um, let's focus our view on it. There's Eve, there's Moho, Atoran, the Sun, and Project Denver. How far did we get? <laughs> yeah, not very far at all. In fact, we're actually still in communications range. The curvature of Kerbin isn't even enough. 3.2 kilometers. That's embarrassing. Either way, back to the Space Center. All right, we are back at the Space Center, and after recovering all of the wrecked components of Project Denver, we managed to recoup a little bit of the cost and picked up a paltry six science out of it. But we had enough from Project Dallas to be able to unlock another node, as a matter of fact. And I'm actually going to do some parts purchases. Oh wow, I can actually afford aerodynamics. But I think the next node we are going to unlock is the um, Advanced Exploration because it of course has more science, including the actual orbital telescope instead of the Universe of Science one, a couple of Kraken specimens. Um, we're actually starting to get space station science, which I'm really looking forward to getting into soon. But just assorted things that we can make use of, and the solar observatory here. So we can start building Skylab. But we will have those parts to look forward to, and that leaves us with 66 science, which is not enough to unlock any more nodes. But I will go ahead and redesign Project Denver, figure out what in the blazes went wrong, and then we will go to Minmus. But for now, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for the outro. Hey everyone, Arinia here. Thanks so much for watching this latest video out of my channel, and thanks so much to these patrons who, among others, are helping make this content possible by donating at least $10 on my Patreon page. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment. Tell us what we need to do better. If you liked it, still leave a comment. I'm always open to input. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on the Discord community, link in the description. 
If you want to support the channel, and I really hope you do, please, down in the description is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can donate to for a one-time donation, or the Patreon page, which you can head on to to donate monthly and get perks. In the meantime, this is Irinia saying once again, thanks for watching, 